everybody, and welcome to That's What She Said Sports. This is your sports chick, Nicole Monique, and we are here at Phillips Arena where we're watching the Atlanta Dream and the LA Sparks. Now, as you know, the Atlanta Dream, they've had some tough games recently, especially with their loss to Chicago Sky on Saturday. Can they make a comeback, or will Candace Parker and the Sparks deny them? We'll see. Stay tuned. What was the difference tonight between when you guys played Chicago? I think just the um, another couple of days of, of you know having some rest, but also getting the practice in and making some adjustments. Uh, I thought our energy level was a lot higher tonight. You know, of getting getting after defensively, and um, you know we we shot the ball pretty well. You know tonight, so you know shooting makes a big difference. Best performance since early in the year. Yes, for a while. You know, we just want to get back in the swing of things with uh, getting points in the paint and, and trying to establish our post game. And I thought today that's what we did. Yeah, Alex had a double double. I mean, is that her first? I, I looked back, I couldn't find another. I don't know. I have to check it and see. But, you know, having 11 assists, that's, you know, saying a lot. Uh, and uh, for her to, you know, find her teammates and also to, you know, get to the rim and score. Talk about Jasmine Thomas 19 points, 18 rebounds. She was on fire. Yeah, she, uh, you know, really turned the corner with her quick speed. and. And, um, you know, just told her to play. Uh, the remember the days she played in college when she just really blew by people, and I just asked her to do that tonight. Well, how were you guys able to just limit them? I think they showed 20% in the first quarter. Was there uh, any sort of you know, game plan that you guys executed? You know, like no, I would say there's no really no really game plan other than just, you know, you know, crowd a few players that like to drive. Uh, you know, I know Parker like to drive a lot and, and beard some and, and have them make, you know, one or two extra passes uh, in their rotation on offense. And, you know, luckily for us, they front rim a lot of those shots and we got some, you know, fast break situations. Any concerns that some of the girls were in foul trouble? You had three or four fouls? I played them through it. I mean, you know, I didn't want to change the rhythm. Uh, the personnel players that's in there, and, um, you know, they're always going to play aggressive. So I told them tonight is tonight. If you're going to foul out, then this is going to be the night it's going to happen. You know, something that didn't show up on the stat sheet, I think you got every loose ball. Oh, wow. Now, I'm going to have to cut that out with the edit guy. <laughs> we're going to like that one with the edit guy. Every loose ball, that's, that's a lot of hustle points. And I, I think, you know, a player coming off the bench who sparked us two of them, which was uh, Nick, uh, Nika Henry and also Clement, uh, 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 Courtney uh, Clements came off the bench and got some key steals and rebounds for us. So, you know, those things don't show up on stats, but it shows up in the locker room and, and as a team. You guys, you know, they, Los Angeles made a charge in the third quarter, they made a charge in the fourth quarter. A team that's struggling like you guys are, how big is it that you were able to, you know, stave them off both times? Well, we had, you know, I had to call, use all my timeouts wisely throughout the whole game. And, uh, you know, I knew they were going to make runs at some point. You know, they got tremendous scores that could shoot the three and also drive and kick, you know, for shots. and. You know, I, I thought when uh, they made that run at us that I need to call a couple of timeouts and get us back focused. Tolliver hit the one three and you immediately called a timeout. Absolutely, what did, what did yeah. You say at that point? I just, you know, told them, hey, just have the mindset that we got to, you know, you know, close out on the shooters, you know, from the outside. Uh, you know, make the tough, real, t uh, make the two point shot real tough trying to get there, but just don't uh, give up the threes in, in transition. They really attacked us transition wise and um, we just didn't get back uh, coming up in, in the third quarter. You were definitely more anim animated in the fourth quarter. Was there a concern that they were going to come back? At one time, they it was like 75, 70? Yeah, just, you know, trying to match energy. Yeah. You know, I told them to match the energy I have on the sideline and match LA's energy, too. And then, you know, the, the players stepped up and made some key shots and steals. Again, congratulations. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> You know, I just give it all to my teammates. You know, they help me out. Um, AP, APA, she was talking to me, you know, coaching me um, from the sideline, and she really helped me out tonight to um, be a defensive stopper. Have you ever had a double ball? Uh, not in the WNBA. Yeah. It's my first one. 
That's great. Yeah. So it feels good. But it seemed, it seemed to be, I mean, you were driving into the paint a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, was that strategy coming in? Go ahead, drive in. Um, I mean, Coach tells me and Jasmine Thomas, you know, anytime we have an open lane, we, we can drive it in. You know, we're both fast, we're both quick, and we both make good decisions um, in the lane. So, you know, we're driving and kicking it all night if we can. Now, Alex, you had a great game with the sky. How does it feel to start tonight? Um, you know, it felt good. Uh, any 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 way I can help my teammates win ball games, that's that's my focus. Congratulations. Thank you. tonight 19 points 18 rebounds what was it about tonight um just trying to have energy and stay aggressive uh, I mean I tend to get a little inconsistent at times and I'm just trying to stay focused on always being aggressive thank you Jasmine appreciate your time coach when Candace went down was it her foot or her ankle I think she just rolled her ankle but you know we got we got a great trainer we just tape it up and keep going she's all right and how disappointing was this loss after the win the great win that you all had just recently with San Antonio well, you know, this time of year, you don't want to be losing much. So, um, you know, it's disappointing. But we're, you know, this is, if you're going to lose, I guess now's the time. And, um, you know, if we learn something, if we can become something different because of it, then, you know, we can take this. But, um, you know, it's not always whether you win or lose, it's how you lose. I'm not, I'm not happy with how we lost. Candace, um, you rolled your ankle. How are you feeling? I'm okay. It's fine. How was this loss? Um, obviously, you know, you guys had a big one with San Antonio. How did it feel tonight? Was it a tough loss? Well, um, yeah. At this point in the season, it was, you know, uh, especially the way in which they did it. I mean, they had us by 20 at one point. So, I mean, you know, we definitely have to, to get better. At this point in the season, I would think that we would kind of had solved those problems of coming out sluggish and, and not playing well in the first half and then trying to, throw a Hail, Hail Mary in the you know fourth quarter and come back from being down 17. They were coming at you aggressively with the rebounds. Would you think that was one of the issues that you all had tonight? You just couldn't get some of the loose baskets? Well, it's been like that for a while, you know, um, that we haven't been able to defensive rebound as well as we wanted to. Last game we played Atlanta, you know, they killed us in, in the rebounds category. And then against San Antonio as well, they, um, they did pretty well against us in the first half. So it's something that we definitely have to solve. The coach was just saying, now next you play Minnesota. How do you mentally prepare for Minnesota? Well, I mean, they have the best record in the league right now. So I think it's that in itself. We should <laughs> we should be ready and, and come ready to the gym to play because if we don't, we'll, you know, we'll get the same result. Right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Candace. Appreciate your time. Well, it was an awesome win by the Atlanta Dream, beating the LA Sparks 92-82 to between Jasmine, Alex, Erica, and Angel, who wasn't the MVP tonight. Well, this has been your sports chick, Nicole Monique, with That's What She Said Sports. And you can catch us on TWSSSports.com, Facebook, Twitter. And remember, to find out more about the Atlanta Dream, go to AtlantaDream.net. See you next time.